In this video we're going to look at a simple self-excited shunt generator. As you can see it's self-excited because the field windings are connected across the armature circuit as opposed to the separately excited shunt generator that we did in a pre previous video. So the field will get its current and voltage from itself and not from a separately excited DC source. Um, in looking at how this motor will build up, um, initially the armature circuit when spun with a prime mover really isn't generating any voltage because there's no field. So we need to count on residual flux to get the motor to build and then it will build toward its no load voltage of EG and uh, we're going to use this field rheostat right here to limit the voltage and current to the specified field voltages. As far as the terminal voltage is concerned here, V-terminal, V-terminal is nothing more than essentially what it was before, uh, except this time we'll say V-terminal equals EG minus the IA RA that's true exactly as it was before but in the last case the load current IL was equal to the armature cur current and that's not exactly the case here is it that armature current that armature current now we're gonna lose just a little bit of current to the field so if we're talking at rated voltage we're talking about losing for our motors, 19 amps rated voltage, I'm sorry, rated current to the terminal. Um, that 19 amps, we're going to lose 600 milliamps of field. So these look like the governing equations. A simple VT is equal to the EG minus the voltage drop that we're looking at across this terminal right here. So uh, EG minus those internal losses, IA, RA gets us to the terminal. And I load is equal to IA minus IF. Simple uh, nodal analysis right here at this node, right? Uh, next set of videos, we're going to look at some stuff a little more complicated. We'll have to look at some uh, compounding on these different types of generators. Last thing I want to add to this video is uh, just something that happens as we really start to push IL. When this thing starts to reach rated current, what we're looking at is a terminal drop due to this equation right here, right? But when we get a terminal drop, we're also going to get a voltage on the field drop. So now we're losing field, which would cause an even larger drop in VT, because as field falls off, EG falls off, and that seems like a vicious little cycle. So we'll have to actually look at some characteristic curves for motors, I'm sorry, for generators, and see how vicious of a drop off this really is. And we will see, as we start to fall off at that terminal voltage, we'll lose some field, and uh, EG and then VT will fall off even more. So this is going to drop off at a no load voltage, a little worse than the separately excited. All right, we hope to see that in the lab. Made with DoodleCast Pro.